I'm back to show you the Halloween forecast. Couple of minutes. Yeah, we'll take the dry out, Steve, because all of today's rainy weather caused a number of problems on the roads. In fact, four tractor trailers crashed on on 7175 in northern Kentucky today. It shut down the highway for hours. Josh Bazan is on your side tonight, getting answers from police about a particular trouble spot. Fort Mitchell police say anytime it rains, there always seems to be crashes on the stretch of 7175 near Dixie Highway. Police shut down that stretch of the highway for five hours to clean up after all those issues with tractor trailers. All three said that they hit their brakes and the um, tractor trailers went into like a skid. The same problem for all three of these tractor trailers. Yes, it's almost every time it rains, we have a tractor trailer that will slide into that curve. Fort Mitchell police say Saturday morning rain played a role in all three crashes that shut down 7175 South for hours. Another factor is the road itself. Police say this stretch near Dixie Highway routinely causes problems for drivers. There's like a traction issue in that curve and there, it, it banks a little bit as well. Police say a fourth crash that shut down 7175 North at the same time and in the same area happened when a minivan caught off a tractor trailer driver causing him to jackknife and spill 60 gallons of diesel fuel. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt in any of the crashes, but police say it was almost a different story for this truck that nearly jumped the barrier into oncoming traffic. So those guardrails they had up that were temporary did do their job. It kept that truck from going in the other lane. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says it is aware of the issue and is working to make necessary changes to improve safety. It wouldn't get into specifics, but did point out some of the new signs it has put up to warn drivers about the curve. Just because the speed limit's uh, a certain amount doesn't mean you can go that speed limit when we have as much rain as we did in a short period of time. Fort Mitchell police say speed wasn't a factor in any of these crashes, but they are urging drivers to use common sense during bad weather. Drive more slowly and leave space behind the car in front of you. Reporting in Fort Mitchell, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side.